I'll walk you through how to use layer effects in Affinity Photo. Layer effects are not to be confused with filters or live filter layers. Instead, these are effects such as outer shadow and outer glow that are configured via a separate set of controls. A typical example is applying effects to text layers. So I'll select the text layer here, then click on the FX icon at the bottom of the layers panel. This opens the layer effects dialog where I have a series of options. To start with, I'll select outer glow. I'll bring the radius slider all the way up, reduce the intensity slightly, and change the color to a mid blue. I can then add another effect, such as outer shadow. Here, I'll bring the radius slider up again. Then I can also increase the offset slider, and we'll see the shadow effect move further away from the layer content. I can click the offset tool button, and this will then allow me to click drag on the document view to set the angle and offset of the outer shadow. Also note that there is a scale with object option here, which is disabled by default. When this is enabled, note that when I scale the text, some of the parameter values will change automatically. I'll switch to another example now, where I'll add multiple effects of the same type. First, I'll select the ellipse layer. Then I'll open the layer effects dialog. Before moving to the main effect I'm after, I'll select Gaussian blur and add a very small amount, just to soften the detail of the shapes. Then I'll select out a shadow, set the radius to two pixels, increase the offset dramatically, and modify the angle. You can hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows to set the angle to more precise increments. I'll then change the color to a light blue. And crucially, set the blend mode to hard light. Now I'll click this plus icon here to add another outer shadow effect. This time, I'll change the color to red, modify the angle, and reduce the offset slightly. Finally, I'll add a third outer shadow effect, then change the color to green, and I'll reduce the offset, then change the angle. Now I'll close the dialog, and I may want to copy the layer effects to the other shape layers. I could use Edit, Copy, and then Paste Effects, but there is a quicker method. Instead, I can simply click drag on this FX icon here and drag it to the target layer, then release the mouse button. I'll repeat the process once more for the second triangle. As a final touch, I can select all three layers, switch to the color panel, and if I click on the switch icon here, I can move from opacity to noise. This lets me add some procedural noise to the shapes which helps lend this composition some more texture. Finally, I'll add some effects to this text to make it look more plausible in this composition. I'll open the Layer Effects dialog again, then I'll select Outer Glow, and start dragging the Radius slider up, and I'll change the color to orange. Then I'll also add an Inner Glow effect. I'll start by actually changing the Blend Mode from screen to normal. Then I'll increase the radius, change the color to red, increase the intensity, and finally reduce the opacity. As a final step, I'll add a color overlay effect, changing the color to yellow, and the blend mode to screen. Then I'll close the dialog. It's worth clarifying that layer effects are completely non-destructive, even when rasterizing layers. For example, if I were to right-click this text layer and choose Rasterize, I'm presented with an option to preserve the layer effects. So even if this text is now a pixel layer and can no longer be edited, I can still click the FX button here to open the layer effects dialog. And I am then able to hide and show the effects and also change their parameters if required. And that was a tutorial on using layer effects in Affinity Photo.
Thank you for watching.